I'm going to show you just using the Bible how Adam and Eve eating the fruit was actually fornication with Satan. 2 Corinthians 11.3 right here where it talks about how the serpent beguiled Eve. Now if you look at beguiled, that definition in that word means to seduce. Now I know many of you probably heard this in your life. Satan seduced Eve? What? But believe it or not, it is actually the truth. When you look into the word beguiled, as you can see within the definition is the word seduced. Now, a lot of us miss many of these things because we fail to realize that our Bible just wasn't written in English. And if we don't go back and study the Hebrew and Greek words that were originally written there, we won't really understand what God was actually saying to us in his word. Now, I don't know this young gentleman, neither do I agree 100% with the things that he went on to say, but there is truth to the statement that he made in other statements, and I'm going to bring proper understanding to how. Now, he went on to say that Eve actually committed fornication with Satan. But I'm going to show you just using the Bible how Adam and Eve eating the fruit was actually fornication with Satan. <laughs> now, once again, I know many of you are probably like, Adam and Eve fornicated with Satan? What? However, this too is actually true. Now, was this a physical fornication? They physically had intercourse with each other? Absolutely not. That's not what it's talking about. But I will tell you what it is talking about. Luke 8, 11 tells us that the seed is the word of God. When you look into the origins of that word seed, it actually speaks about offspring, descendants, and a male's sperm. Now I understand that might be hard to kind of accept, but look into the word and you will see this is the truth. So Luke 8, 11 is telling us that the word of God is God's seed or it is sperm. So when we are receiving God's word, we are receiving God's seed. Now what's interesting is, if you look into the word mind in Hebrew, as in when the scripture says that Jesus opened the mind of his disciples, that word actually speaks about opening a womb, as in a woman's womb. So where does the word of God or the seed of God get imparted into? Our mind or our womb. Now what happens in the natural when a man lays down with a woman and they have intercourse or there's an exchange of seed, this is how a woman gets pregnant and this is how she gives birth. So just like in the natural, does it work the same way in the spiritual? There's an exchange of spiritual seed or the word, and that's how a child in the spirit is born. And if we look at 1 Peter, we see that this is exactly how we are born again, through the spiritual word or the spiritual seed. And we see exactly what kind of seed it's talking about sperm. This is how we are born again in the spirit. This is how we become born again in Christ through the word or the seed or sperm of God. Now, keeping that in mind, when Adam and Eve were listening and learning from God, they were receiving God's word or God's seed. But what happened when Eve turned a deaf ear to God's commandments and began to receive a different word, a word of Satan? She received Satan's word or Satan's seed. And in that way, did she fornicate against God? Well, we learn in Genesis 3.15, when God says, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. He's talking about how Satan has a seed and how Eve has a seed as well. She received a different word or a different seed. Now, did the gentleman in this Instagram video really understand that concept? Not really, but the Lord was beginning to open up revelation to him. And I applaud him for going deeper and searching the scripture. Now I'm going to stop here, guys. There are other things that I do want to get into on this very topic, but you're going to have to head over to my Patreon account where I will share the rest of this video and the rest of my thoughts. My Patreon link will be in the description. So go ahead and click that subscribe and I will see you there.